Hello everyone. How's everybody today? Welcome to the Dirt Road Farmer. Well, uh, today we've kind of got a uh, very large field to do, a huge field, you might say. And uh, I guess we'll just jump right in here and and start getting these harvesters set up. Now, as you can see, we've got five of them. And yeah, they're all the uh, John Deere X9s. And uh, we've got the 60 foot headers on them. So, let's go over here and take a look at this field and see about what we can expect All right. Well, it's not going to tell us uh, because uh, these four fields that are in here, uh, they were all one. And then I came in and divided one big field into four to make it a little more manageable. So this is giving us the total on the whole field on the potential harvest quantity and that's six million four hundred and thirty three thousand seven hundred and eighty three so we've already done three of these fields three out of four so uh yeah but anyway uh we're at 98 percent yield bonus uh and we're 100% fertilized, so uh, we should we should do pretty good. All right, let's get this guy started, and let's go in here. And the first thing we want to do is see if we've got a load or a course loaded into him, and we do not. There is no course loaded into him. Okay, now, uh, let's see here, this was, uh, what are we calling this, I forget now, okay, this was one, two, three, all right, this is, uh, it didn't give us a chance to name these. This was field one to start with. So let me go back down here and see what I named the other fields. Okay, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, two. Uh, and zero, zero, four. So this one is zero, zero, three is what this one is. All right, so let's uh, let's go down here and let's generate a course. All right, and we want to go to course play field work. We want to get a field position, and let's just put that about right there. And let's generate the course. All right, working with 594. That's that's right. Multiple tools, five. Okay. Uh, everything looks good there. Everything looks great. Okay. And let's go up here and check to see if everything here is right. Well, that's it looks good to me. All right, let's go back. And I don't understand what they're doing here. All right, well. <laughs> let's try that again. We want to go to for course play field work. 
All right. And let's generate the course. All right, everything looks good there. Now let's generate the field work course. All right, looks like we've got it. Okay. All right, now, uh, let's go back in here and let's name that. We need to create a new folder to start with. And we'll call this uh, field. Zero, zero, three. Okay. All right, there we go. Now, let's go to field three, zero, zero, three. And let's save this course. And we're going to call it uh, harvest. Five. H for five harvesters. Okay. And there it is. Okay, so we'll just light that up. And uh, we should be able to X out of this. Bring our small HUD up. And there's our harvest 5H. We want to start at the first waypoint. And this is correct. Two left. Okay. All right. Now we want to go in here. We want to go back in. We want to clear the current course out of that one. And we want to load this one and activate. All right. We'll come out of this. And it looks like we've got it. Harvest 5H. This is going to be one left. Okay. And we start the first waypoint. All right. Let's go back. Did I start this one? I didn't start him. Let's just start him. All right. And let's go into this one. Let's clear the current course out of him. And let's start this, load this course into him. Activate. Now we've got him right there. First waypoint. And this guy is going to be running center. Okay. All right. And let's get him started. All right. Let's go to number four. We'll clear the current course. And we're going to load that course into him. Activate it. All right, and there we got it. Harvest 5H. We're going to start the first waypoint. And this guy is going to be one right. Okay. And we'll start him. Let's go over here and get this guy. We want to clear the current course that's in him out. Go up and highlight that one, come down and load that course, and activate it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. And there we have it, Harvest 5H. We want to start the first waypoint, and this guy is going to be running to right. So, all right. Now, let's, uh, let's go back. To number one he's all set up well, let's just tell him to go to work all right number two's all set up let's tell him to go to work all right number three go to work number four go to work number five Go to work. All right. 
So now we're just going to watch these guys, make sure they all get started without running into one another because it happens. They'll run into one another. They all start moving up at the same time. Number two, I mean the rest of them should stop, and they did. Number two should take off. I've got these guys set to run 400 feet away from one another. So, we'll see if they do it. They're supposed to. Alright, now they should all kind of move up again a little bit and then come to the last two over here ought to come to a, a stop and let number three go. There they go, they're all easing up. Slow down there, number five. Alright, number five and number four stop. There you go. Alright, there goes number three. looks great so far spot on okay let's go number four let's start moving up a little bit there they go all right all right number four go right ahead number five should stop and wait on you and he is Good deal. All right, so we will have all five of them running. Now this is going to be a rather large harvest. Uh, I think we'll jump out of him. He'll go ahead and do his thing. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to chase all these harvesters uh, with this grain cart. And we've got a buffer bin or a mother bin, whichever you would rather call it. Either one of them would be correct. Uh, and then we're going to, that buffer bin will dump into our truck that's going to take it to the silo and that truck will be running on auto drive so that's just the way we have it set up now I don't know exactly what's going to come off of this field in terms of uh, how many liters but I do know that we've got I think six almost seven million liters in our silo again already and uh, yeah <laughs> uh, when we get this field done uh, we're gonna have to revert to selling some uh, some soybeans that's just all there is to it All right, so we'll, these guys ain't going to have a whole lot in them, and I've got them running six mile an hour to make it a little easier to keep up with, but what I want to do on this first round is when we get down here to the end, I want them to be pretty well empty. Maybe not all the way empty, but pretty well all the way empty. Uh, because we'll have to make sure they make the turn right. And what I mean by that is they are going to have to compensate for the width of the field. And we don't know. The conflict usually comes in on the last two harvesters. That's usually where you have a conflict. If you're, if you're going to have one. Let's put it that way. So you don't always have one. But uh, they'll compensate for the width of the field 
so that everything comes out even at the end. So that's that's what we're waiting on. That, or that's what we got to watch for. So, but anyway, everything looks good here. This is the way we empty our harvesters out. <coughs> and we just we just keep emptying them. We go back down the line just like we're doing. And and then whenever you get that done, then you start all over again. You just start, just keep them emptied out. The idea is to never empty or never stop your harvesters. Yeah, that, that, that's not right. <laughs> Uh, and again, you know, I, I say this stuff and I don't want you to take it the wrong way and think that uh, you're doing it wrong if you stop your harvesters because you're not. Uh, it's just if you stop your harvesters, then you're not harvesting. You're not, you're not making money. You're not, those harvesters has got to continue to roll in order to get this job done in a timely manner. So, <laughs> yeah, I didn't want you to think that, uh, yeah, you were completely doing it wrong if you made your harvester stop because you're not, you're not. Uh, that's just my way. And, and uh, like I've said several times before, that's what makes Farming Simulator so great is because there's so many different ways to play this game. And you just have to hunt for the one that does what you want it to do. You know, make your own game. Do it your own way. And uh, this is just, what I do here is just merely a suggestion. Uh, it's an idea. If it fits, and you want to use it in your daily farming, then by all means do. And if you see that it's not going to work for you, that's perfectly fine too. You know, that's, that's like I said, that's what makes this so great. That's why I enjoy farming simulators so much. All right, well, we've just about got number five done here. We're going to go out up here and we're going to make sure we get number four emptied out again before he starts his turn. Uh, and that way we can set back here. If we need to stop a harvester, then we will. Uh, you know, just while they're compensating for that first turnaround. So after that, we won't have to worry about it. It's just the first one. So let's go up here and get what he's got and we'll work our way back and by the time we get back here to the back that first harvester he will be in his turn so we'll be back far enough where we can get in another harvester and stop it if we need to so This looks good. All right. I have found, uh, if you've not seen any of my previous videos, I have found that you can speed up the headers where your harvester will run faster. But when you're running five harvesters, uh, it's a job. It is really a job. And you'll find that the farther across this field you go, your traveling distance becomes more, greater, and you have a hard time keeping up with them whenever they're running any faster than six mile an hour. So, 
that's why I run it at six. And again, <laughs> I'm not telling you that's the right way or anything else. I'm just telling you that that's my way. Hey, I think you can run them all the way up to 15 mile an hour if you want to. Uh, I, I do know that running them at 15 mile an hour, uh, unless you have done something to speed things up with your tractors and everything, uh, or you've increased the, increased the uh, grain tanks on your harvesters, you're going to be stopping harvesters. Well, on FS19, it wasn't too awful bad to start to stop one harvester. It wasn't all that big of a deal. Uh, because the others would just keep on going, you know. But on FS22, you stop one harvester, you stop them all. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you want to think about that. You don't want to... You don't want to shoot yourself in the foot. You know, if you're... You think you're doing real good traveling 15 mile an hour harvesting, you know, doing a harvest but your your harvesters are stopping all the time well, sometimes, you know what the old saying is slow and steady will beat everything so, it's just something to think about it's alright now we're going to get back here because our harvesters are starting to make their turns and like I said, the conflict most of the time will be your two back harvesters, which will be these two. So we're going to get back here. We're going to empty these guys out, and we're going to keep an eye on them. Looks like number one is getting over pretty good. And he's getting it figured out. Good deal. Alright. Now we're going to go back here to number four. We're going to empty him out and then we'll jump into number four and we'll be in number four we won't be driving it we'll just be riding just in case we need to stop him because uh, we don't want no crashes we don't want no head-on collisions or anything like that uh, no so it's easier just to do it this way set right here and we're going to jump in number four here and we're just going to watch uh, where the conflict comes in at and that's if number two runs over in number four or when, num when number four runs over into number five's lane that's where the conflict comes in at. And it don't take much. I mean, a foot. If he's one foot over into number five's lane, they're going to crash. So, we don't want that. So far, everything looks good. And I think number four or five is going to have plenty of room. But we'll just hang in there. And make sure. Everything looks good so far. Number one is doing what he needs to do. 
Number two is right on track. Looks like number three is about to get it figured out. Now we won't have to worry about doing this the rest of the way up the field. We won't have to worry about this. They'll get turned around just fine. think everything is going to be fine we will watch number four he gets turned around and probably what will happen is number five won't have a full swipe going back number five will be taking a piece of a swipe not a full swipe but we'll see how much here in a minute All right, well, as you can see, they're not going to collide. But we'll jump out of here, and we'll go back and we'll get into our tractor. And uh, we'll start chasing these harvesters again. But we'll wait for number four to make his turn, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, I'm sure he's not going to have a full swipe. It'll be a partial swipe. So, all right. Well, it it it's a it may not be a partial, but I mean it may not be a full swipe, but it's going to be close to a full swipe. Oh yeah. All right. Well, hopefully, I don't know. It looks like a full swipe to me. This time they could prove me wrong and maybe they're going to compensate when they get to the other side of this field. Well, that, that happens sometimes too, but usually not. All right. Well, uh, we're going to just keep emptying these harvesters and see if we can get on across this field. I'll get back with you in a moment. All right. Well, we've got the grain cart loaded, and we'll bring it over here, and we'll put it into our buffer cart, our mother bin, whichever one you would like to call it, that would be fine. All right, now let's go over here, and let's take the top off of this guy. We can uncover him. And let's back him up here just a little bit. All right, let's back him up there just a little bit. And let's, let's see about getting him started. All right, all right, we got that. Yard silo soybeans. All right, we've got him ready to go. Now let's start this tractor here. And we can bail out. We don't want to start that truck just yet. Uh, because he's going to haul it pretty fast and I don't want him just sitting there not doing anything getting paid for it so uh, we'll uh, we'll wait for the next load and then we'll start our truck and uh, get him to deliver and over to our silo so I'll see you when we get a little farther along all right we're taking a second load over here and uh i think we'll empty this into the <coughs> mother bin or buffer cart 
and uh, we'll get our truck started. And he'll run over to the, the silo, unload, come back and get another load. And he'll just continue to do so until either we run out of grain or uh, we tell him to quit. All right, now let's tell him to go. And he'll have to he'll have to think about it for a minute. Uh, ever since the latest version of auto drive that I installed, uh, they have to sit there and think about it for a moment. And then they'll get started. So we can get back over here in our grain wagon and there he goes. He's thought about it and he's off. So Yep, he's going to come back around. Those are the grain bins right there, the silos that we're going to put this in. So, oh yeah. Like I said, it won't take him long and he'll have it all hauled. So, all right. Well, we're done emptying into this. And we'll just... Go over here and pick up where we left off. Now, let's see. We're getting over here near the end. We don't have too awful many more passes to make. So. Now let's see, there's three of them. Do we have another one in front of him? No. So this is our lead harvester right here. So we'll just go ahead and empty him. And just carry on until the field is done. Works pretty good. We get our grain hauled and we don't stop the harvesters and we're making money. So you can't beat a deal like that. All right, well, we're just gonna keep offloading these harvesters and, and let our truck haul it. I'll get back with you in a moment. All right. Well, we're getting over. We've got maybe another pass, maybe two. And we'll be done. Uh, we're going to empty this harvester out. Number five, we're going to take this load over and dump it into the mother bin. And then we'll, we'll ride with the truck one round and make sure that he's doing everything he's supposed to be doing see if there's any problems along the way so but as you can see uh, you can cover a lot of ground with five harvesters uh, you know and just it's just slow and steady now we have really come across this field rather quickly so and we'll have over a million liters of grain so yes all right let's take this over put our pipe out <clears throat> and let's take this over put it in the mother bin and if our truck is there, 
then we'll ride with him. And if it's not, well, then we'll just come back and, and collect more grain. And our truck ain't there, but he may get there before we can get unloaded. That looks like he just left with a load. All right, well, you know, that's the way it goes. It, <laughs> by the looks of this mother, Ben, like I told you, he'll haul it rather quickly. That's why we we don't want to start him too soon because he'll be sitting there getting paid doing nothing. So, yeah. But anyway, uh, I guess we're going to wrap this up and call this a video. Uh, if you've liked this content, please go down there and give me a like. I'd sure appreciate it. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that'd mean the world to me. Go down and hit that subscribe button. I'd sure, sure appreciate it. You can see our truck coming out the other side of that silo over there. He's unloading. Uh, but anyway, yes, if you'd like to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. I'd sure appreciate it. If you'd like to share this video with someone, please do. Uh, I would just love it if somebody, you know, liked to, to see this kind of content and maybe even start playing. Uh, that would be fantastic. But for me, the dirt road farmer, I guess we're going to call this a day. And as always, thank you for watching.